Hi, I'm Carson. If you want to take control of your power today, the first thing you're going to need to do is get access to your real-time consumption data, preferably on a smartphone, or at least on another web-enabled device. One of the first questions we're going to have to ask ourselves is, what kind of person am I? There are only two types of people in the world, those who have smart meters and those who don't. If you have a smart meter, you may be able to get the data directly from the utility, but don't hold your breath. Check the utility's website and search for smart meter. A lot of the data being provided by the utilities is often hourly delayed or even a day old. In this case, if you're going to want your data, you're going to need to hack it. We'll show you how. If you have a smart meter and you're not getting the data from the utility company, this is going to be what you need. Now, you might need to talk to the utility company before you start using this in order for them to provision it, but we can help you with that. This is Rainforest Automation's Raven chip. And how it works is you plug it into your computer, the computer then gets the data from the smart meter and transmits it over the Zigbee network to your computer to where you can store it and do whatever you want with the data using a web-based service. But we'll talk about that in a second. If you don't have a smart meter yet, or your utility won't give you the data, there are still several options you can take to get your real-time data to your mobile device, smartphone, or web service. In the analog world, there are plenty of power meters on the market today. One of the ones we like is the Blue Line Power Cost Monitor. This in some will probably cost you around $99 and you can get it from places like Lowe's, Fry's, or EnergyMonitor.com. Here's how it works. You take this device and you attach it to the analog meter. The infrared device in here reads the disk that spins around inside the analog meter and transmits the data back to this wireless device. Now, if you want the data over the internet, you're going to need to pick up one of these. This is a Wi-Fi transmitter It's going to cost you another $129. But the plus side of this is you can see your data in real time on your computer. Another device we like is the Watt Vision. The way this works is similar to the Blue Line Power Cost Monitor. You attach this to the analog meter, this reads the data and transmits it back to a Wi-Fi device, of which you can transmit it over the computer and see your data in real time. This costs about $250 and you can get it from wattvision.com. Another device we like is called the E-Monitor. Now this one's a little bit more complicated to install, but it gives you the granularity of data down to the plug level. The way it works take one of these and you attach it around the wires inside the fuse box. This transmits the data back into the device. The device gives an accurate readout of real-time data down to the plug level. If you want to read it from outside of the device, you can take this plug right here, plug an Ethernet cable into it, and run it straight to your computer where you can see your real-time data on your computer at any time of the day. Now, one like this is a little bit more expensive and it runs at about $1,000, but you can get it at eMonitor.com and it's a fantastic device. If you have your data, you're going to need a web-based service to understand and analyze what that data actually means for you. While there are plenty of web-based services out there, we recommend our friends at Plot1. It has a really easy user interface to interact with, lots of really cool tools, and I think it's really worth checking out. Visualizing your data, you're going to need to see which rate plan is right for you. Are you using too much electricity at one point in the day? Are you getting pounded by critical peak pricing? We're going to do a follow-up blog post on this, but for now, just check out whatsmypower.com to see which rate is right for you.